everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I have a 10 by 10 inch canvas that I have put down a base coat of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I'm going to do a cupping and covering technique. I've done a few others before. And uh, the original person I learned this from was a Lamb from um, Heart felt artistry and also I watched Heather Mater do it um, and they both gave me great inspiration to do this technique and what I'm going to do first is just layer my paints in a cup and then just dirty pour on the canvas and then I'm going to put a top layer covering that um, that puddle of paint so let's go over my paints um, my first paint is golden teal, very pretty color. And my next paint is Liquitex Basics Phthalo Blue. Artist Loft Green Yellow. I have some Amsterdam paints here. I have the Reflex Rose. I have Venetian Rose. And the last color I am using is a combination of the Amsterdam Deep Gold. And then I just added a little bit of the Rust-Oleum Metallics Gold Mine to that, just to bling it up just a little bit. And then my covering coat, I am going to be using the Artist Love Flow Acrylic White and I mixed a little bit of Liquitex Basics uh, Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue to that to give a real light, light, light yellow color. My pouring medium today though is different. I'm going with uh, Lamb from Heartfelt Artistry's uh, normal pouring medium for this type, for this technique. And it is 60% um, Floetrol, 30% Mod Podge, and 10% GAC 800, and I will list that in the description. So let's get started with layering the paints. I'm just gonna set my cup right in the middle here. What I'm gonna do is start with the lightest color first. And kind of pour down the side, I think. And I'm just going to have one layer of each color. So I believe this is the Venetian rose that I'm putting in first. And then the reflex rose, I believe, is this one. And this is out of my comfort zone because I usually don't use pinks or roses. No silicone was added today. And on my base coat, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, I did not use that um, pouring medium that I just explained for these colored paints. I did use my basic two-part Floetrol, one-part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and a little bit of Liquitex uh, Gloss Medium. So my next is going to be the gold. Then this very light green color. I think it was called greenish yellow or yellowish green. Yeah, yellowish green. Very bright color. And that was the uh, Golden's Teal. And last, I am putting in the phalo blue. A 
Okay. And I'm just going to um, pour the paint right on the canvas. Okay, very pretty in the cup. And I'm going to just tip it a little bit this way so it doesn't run off so much. And now I'm just going to um, top it with my second layer, the yellow. And I do want to leave a little bit of that, those bottom colors showing through. So that should be good. Okay, now I think I will torch it before I start tipping it. Sometimes when you use the Mod Podge, you do get more um, air, air bubbles that come up. And now I'm just going to be tipping here. Okay, bring that back to the center. Okay. Now I will torch again. You can see a lot of the air bubbles coming up. Okay, and now I'm going to use that cupping technique I was talking about, and I've got a lot of different size cups here, but I think I'll start with my biggest one, and what I'm going to do is just lay my cup down and move it around on the paint, like that, and then I clean off the rim of my cup before I start again. And you can see I'm bringing up the colors that are underneath. Bringing up some of that blue. And if you do bring it up so, if you dig down so far that the canvas shows, it will fill in. And now I'm going to use a smaller cup here. You really should try this technique. It's a lot of fun. And Lamb is very, very good. She can make, um, if you get a chance, check out her channel. She makes leaves with her designs, with her cup. You can just roll your cup. Or just drag your cup through the paint.
like a very bright painting. Also, what you can do is some balloon, balloon rolls, balloon kisses, which I may, I may try here also. Okay. And I'm going to torch again. Okay, now I am going to try a small balloon. I have a couple of balloons out here. And I may have quite a bit of paint on here, so just do what I can do here. You can see, though, that those pretty flowers that are coming up with the balloon dip here. Very pretty. Sometimes you can come back to your painting in about 20 minutes or so after it's a little more dry and you can do more of the uh, balloon kisses. You can see how pretty those are here. And you can also try and, when you do your uh, balloon kiss, you can try and move some of the paint to a different location. These are very pretty. really liking these and I am wiping my balloon off after every time I, I do a balloon kiss here so pretty Going to transfer a little bit of the paint up there because it was thin in that area. Lamb actually takes her her finger and she can make a Just like that, make a little leaf on a, on a flower. So pretty, I love the blue coming up. I will try that again with my finger. Just just like that. So pretty. Okay. 
think I will get you down here for a close-up. Do a few more, and then we'll get you down for a close-up. And you can tell me what you think. more here in the middle I think okay that looks good and I will get you down for a close-up well I'll torch one more time let's torch one more time and then I'll get you down for a close-up so very pretty reminds me of Hawaii Okay, we're going to go in for a close-up now on this 10 by 10 inch canvas. Off camera, I did do a few more of the balloon kisses and I will show you those areas. Here's the upper left hand corner. And as you can see, I did add a few more of the, uh, the uh, blue flowers here with the balloon kisses. Very pretty in this area with the stripes. We're just going down the left hand side here. And I'm so glad these uh, colors played together so well. I was a little concerned about it, but I think they turned out really nice. I'm glad I used that yellow as my uh, top color there. And that bright pink, how it came out, is very pretty. I have got a little bit of lacing up in here with some cells. This is the upper right-hand corner. Very bright, happy painting. Like I said, it reminds me of Hawaii in the lower right-hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Um, and sub subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.